news from Tokyo. My name is Daisuke Beppu, and I want to make this very, very uh, quick, impromptu video. But it's very important because uh, very big news has erupted on the landscape of the Criterion Collection. And so I want to uh, share with you what's going on in case you haven't heard the news, and also just uh, talk about it very briefly. A few hours ago, uh, the news broke about the Criterion Collection and its new movements towards streaming. Now, this is on the heels of the end of Filmstruck, but now there apparently is some movement. So let me just show you what, or let me read to you what's on the Criterion Collection website with respect to this matter. Um, it says here, uh, become a charter subscriber. Okay, so if you loved the adventurous curated programming we've been doing with our friends at Filmstruck, we have good news for you. The Criterion Collection team is going to be carrying on with that mission, launching the Criterion Channel as a freestanding streaming service in spring 2019. Amazing, amazing. And let's see, it, there is a, an announcement that's on the Criterion Collection website. And it says here, uh, we are incredibly touched and encouraged by the flood of support we've been receiving since the announcement that Filmstruck will be shutting down on November 29th, 2018. Our thanks go to everyone who signed petitions, wrote letters and newspaper articles and raised your voices to let the world know how much our mission and these movies matter to you. Well, if you loved the curated programming we've been doing with our friends at Filmstruck, we have good news for you. The Criterion Collection team is going to be carrying on with that mission, launching the Criterion Channel as a freestanding service in spring 2019. We've been trying to make something a little different for the past two years, a movie lover's dreams streaming service with smart thematic programming where the history of cinema can live and breathe, where a new generation of filmmakers and film lovers can explore the classics or revel in rarities where adventurous cinephiles can champion films that have never gotten their due and newcomers can easily find guidance from major filmmakers, top scholars, curators, and other experts from all walks of life. The Criterion Channel will be picking up where the old service left off, programming director spotlights and actor retrospectives featuring major Hollywood and international classics and hard-to-find discoveries from around the world, complete with special features like commentaries, behind-the-scenes footage, and original documentaries. We will continue with our guest programmer series, Adventures in Movie Going, our regular series like Art House America, Split Screen, and Meet the Filmmakers, and our 10 minutes or less section will all live on, along with Tuesday's short plus feature and the Friday night double feature, and of course our monthly 15-minute film school observations on film art. The new service will be wholly owned and controlled by the Criterion Collection. We hope to be available in U.S. and Canada at launch, rolling out additional territories over time. Our library will also be available through Warner Media's new consumer platform when it launches late next year. So once both services are live, Criterion fans will have even more ways to find the films they love. We will be starting from scratch with no subscribers, so we will need all the help we can get the most valuable thing you can do to help now is go to criterion.com slash channel criterion.com slash channel and sign up to be a charter subscriber. Then tell your friends to sign up too. We need everyone who was a Filmstruck subscriber or who's been tweeting and signing petitions and writing letters to come out and to sign up for their, the new service. We can't do it without you. Okay, so uh, 
this is great, great news. Um, again, I'm not sure uh, exactly what the what the situation will look like. Uh, it looks like this is going to be uh, planned for spring 2019. However, this should be cause for celebration, uh, especially given the news that uh, Filmstruck was to be ending uh, at the end of this month. So there is going to be a new service, and it looks like, according to Criterion, this will be wholly owned by Criterion, and this is also, it says, our library will also be available through Warner Media's new consumer platform when it launches next year. Um, so, uh, this is very exciting news. Very, very exciting news. Now, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of questions and uh, a lot of uh, specific questions that I'm sure will be uh, answered over time. So, for example, what will happen to the current infrastructure that was set up at Filmstruck? How will that carry over, if anything? Or will the uh, infrastructure have to be built up from scratch? Uh, what about the, you know, that includes things like the user interface and uh, all those things. Um, so, uh, but, but, uh, I think, um, let us look at this for what it is, which is criterion. Criterion, you uh, never, ever cease to surprise and amaze me. This is wonderful news, wonderful news. And again, uh, as all of you may know, I am not at all in the streaming services game. I don't know anything about it. I am not a direct subscriber and I'm in Japan. And from uh, the sound of things, it looks like this service will not be made available in Japan anytime soon. It just says for the moment, it mentions specifically US and Canada and other uh, additional territories, whatever that may mean, but I don't think that will mean Japan. If it does, I will be very happy, and uh, if it does uh, become available in Japan, then I will be the first to sign up, but uh, even uh, assuming that it won't ever come to Japan, this still makes me very excited because this means that, again, the streaming service uh, or criterion will make its resources available through streaming. and. There will be some kind of uh, price mechanism, of course, of some kind of subscriber fee. But uh, this is still great news. Again, more power to you, Criterion. And it's a very important, I think, uh, for my point of view, even though I am a physical media guy, it is very, very important for me to know that these films are still made available uh, relatively inexpensively and uh, relatively easily uh, to those pe people in our community uh, who may not necessarily be uh, you know, Blu-ray collectors or DVD collectors and, and the like. So I am 100% behind this and I'm very, very happy about this. I do have questions and I look forward to uh, getting the answers to those questions as time progresses towards spring 2019. But uh, now is not the time, I think, for those, uh, those specific questions for now. I think for now, uh, just celebrate this great news. And, and please, uh, if you are interested, go to criterion.com and read the, uh, uh, read the announcement there. And also, if you're interested, sign up. So it says here, um, the most valuable thing you can do is help. Uh, the most valuable thing, the most valuable thing you can do to help now is go to criterion.com/channel and sign up to be a charter subscriber. So uh, I encourage you, if you are very interested, to go to criterion.com/channel and sign up for their charter subscriber. Uh, I guess uh, membership, not membership, but uh, yes, yeah, sign up to be a charter subscriber and uh, you'll get an email. So actually what I did was after I heard the news immediately, I went to criterion.com and I signed up. So uh, this was very exciting, very exciting news. So I encourage you all to do the same. 
uh, you know, I signed up and I just put my name and my email address. And then uh, very soon after, I got an email uh, just telling me that uh, what was uh, what I could expect to happen in the days and weeks and months ahead. So uh, I encourage you to do that. And again, I'm not a subscriber of uh, Filmstruck and I'm not a streaming services guy. So it really doesn't matter to me directly. Uh, but but I am so much in support of this so I was very proud to be a uh, charter subscriber or I signed up to be one so I encourage you also to do the same it didn't cost me any money uh, just uh, you know, two minutes to write in my name and then click OK or my email address as well and click OK so I encourage you all to do the same I will leave a link below and uh, you can uh, visit the site yourself and then see uh, if it's uh, worth anything to you. And I hope it is because this is great news for all of us. And I will celebrate uh, this occasion by, uh, let's see, uh, I will put on a nice movie. So uh, let's see, what should I put on? Whew. Okay, okay. Okay, so I just pulled from the shelves uh, this, which is a Criterion Collection Laserdisc. So, uh, in honor of Criterion, and it's great, great news regarding uh, the future of its streaming services, I will put this on, which is It's a Wonderful Life, uh, Frank Capra, starring Jimmy Stewart. And indeed, it is truly a wonderful life. So Criterion, congratulations. And to all of you, uh, won't you join me in uh, celebrating this great news? And please visit Criterion.com and uh, see if you uh, are interested in supporting them. So thank you very much, my friends. And I hope you have a really great rest of your day. Cheers.